Hello everyone, I am Silver De La Rosa and uh, welcome to my channel on Silver Screen, where learning is interesting. This will be the premiere episode of a series of videos that I'm going to upload each week with regards to a profession in built environment or construction environment known as quantity surveying. Quantity surveying or quantity surveyors are not the superheroes of construction industry wherein they can do anything and everything by themselves. That is not correct. But quantity surveyor is part of a professional team in a built environment. So who are these professionals in built environment? They are the architects, the engineers, project managers, facilities managers, and quantity surveyors. So what is quantity surveying? The Royal Institution of uh, Chartered Surveyors defined quantity surveying as concerned with controlling and managing cost of construction projects. And the person who practices quantity surveying is called a quantity surveyor. RICS further defined a professional QS or experts in the art of costing of building at all its stages. And QS are essential for life cycle costing, cost planning, procurement and tendering, contract administration, and commercial management of construction works. So the common idea that quantity surveying is all about taking measurements and carry out quantity estimates are not accurate at all. There is more to it and I will discuss it in my upcoming videos. So how to become a quantity surveyor? One is through direct studies. Countries like UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Malaysia, Singapore, and so on offers a degree or diploma in quantity surveying. So you can enroll in these courses and graduate with a degree or diploma. Or you can also have a degree or diploma in allied professions. These professions are engineering, any type of engineering, civil engineering, mechanical, electrical, and so on, architecture, construction management, and other courses with regards to building sciences. So once you have these diplomas or degrees, you can reinforce your knowledge in quantity surveying through trainings and seminars offered by various quantity surveying organizations and through exposure and field experience by working with contractors and consultants. So what are these quantity surveying competencies that you need to reinforce with? These are quantification and costing of construction works, contract practice, contract administration, procurement and tendering, design economics and cost planning, construction technology and environmental services, communication and negotiation, conflict management and alternative dispute resolution procedures, diversity, team working, and inclusive environments, sustainability, risk management, health and safety, financial management that may include capital allowances, accounting principles and procedures, financial control and reporting, corporate recovery and insolvency, commercial management that may include business planning, project feasibility analysis, client care, data management, due diligence, and of course, as quantity surveyors are dealing with monies in construction industry, a quantity surveyor must be well aware of the ethics, rules of conduct, and professionalism. So all these competencies, I will discuss all of it in my upcoming videos, and I will discuss it in detail. Now, once you have all these competencies, you can also be a certified professional quantity surveyors. You can obtain certification from various QS organizations in different territories. And most, uh, most often, 
these QS organizations or the qualifications from these QS organizations are also recognized internationally. Like in UK, there is this uh, RICS or the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors. In Australia, there is Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors. In Canada, there is a Canadian Institute of Quantity Surveyors. And in Philippines, the Philippine Institute of Certified Quantity Surveyors. Singapore have Singapore Institute of Surveyors and Valuers. And in Malaysia, there is a Royal Institution of Surveyors Malaysia. These are only examples of quantity surveying organizations from various countries or various territories. And again, I would like to emphasize that most of these quantity surveying organizations are also recognized internationally, not only locally in their respective territories. So now, if I have tickled your mind about uh, being a quantity surveyor, you may ask, what are the opportunities waiting for you as a quantity surveyor? So quantity surveyors, or if you have the base or the competency of quantity surveyor, you can become an estimator or a cost engineer or cost consultant. You can also become a contracts manager or a contracts administrator, commercial manager, a tender manager, because you also have the tendering and procurement uh, basics or foundation. You can also become a project manager, project controls manager, or even a claims manager, because you will be well versed of the conditions of contract and the procedures of claims. Also a quantum expert or a quantum consultant or an expert witness. So these are the experts in field where their insights or their expertise are being hired by courts when it comes to disputes. So not only this, there are still a lot of positions and opportunities out there for someone who has a training of a quantity surveyor. Now, what are the industry sectors that are open for quantity surveyors? Quantity surveyors are being needed in various industries like the construction, the oil and gas, whether it is onshore or offshore, quantity surveyors are needed. Also in other forms of energy, in the energy sector, whether it is LNG and so on. Also in transportation sector, real estate, manufacturing, and yes, even legal. Because some of the quantity surveyors become an arbitrator or a mediator, which is part of a alternative dispute resolution. So if you are aware of, or if you are keen to become a quantity surveyor, join me next week as we deep dive into the competency of being a quantity surveyor. And we are going to discuss in season one, the quantification and costing of construction works. So if you like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can also Ring on the notification bell so that every time there is a new video, you will be notified accordingly. Thank you and see you next week.